I said the N-word, I'd be like probably nominated for mayor. That's not real, dude. Reindeer hot dog. Our flight got canceled, because why wouldn't it? <laughs> I dare Putin take back Alaska. Scare kitty kitty. <laughs> She's gonna cut my dick off. I'm genuinely considering whether or not that was a ghost. Did you hear that? Have you ever fought with a, like a stewardess? You're about to get jumped in, Nicole. <laughs> Welcome to the road. So we're here at LaGuardia Airport. We're about to jump on the first leg of a 48-leg flight to Anchorage, Alaska. Spared no expense, the booker really got us in the back of each of the 700 planes that we're going to be on. Pretty sure we can't even recline. I think I had to pay extra for to have a seatbelt. It's going to be good. I'm excited. We're going to see a polar bear, probably drowning, and, uh, and a moose, hopefully goring a young child to death. We are promptly delayed one hour, so that will land us uh, about 20 minutes after I think the next flight uh, takes off. So that's the thing about you know booking 64 extensions on one trip is you pretty much have to. Uh, I'm gonna. So as it goes with scheduling 16 flights in a row that have to land perfectly, the second one is delayed an hour, and uh, that will likely bring us in to miss the third flight to actual Anchorage. All right, bye. We're probably just staying in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just I don't even know where an Alaskan Airlines desk is. Like there's like there's no kiosk. So uh, we're getting to Seattle. That's the update. Is uh, we will be in Seattle at some point. It's been requested of me to stand online and potentially talk to an Alaskan Airlines uh, representative, which I'm not doing. We've been recommended to talk to somebody at Alaska Airlines. I'd like you to pan over to the kiosk to show how many people are willing to help. That empty glass right there is a sweet little microcosm of the entire day because boy have we been reaching out and just nobody's offering any kind of assistance. They said that uh, it will automatically put us on a connection once they know when we're actually leaving. So right now they don't. The 626 is a uh, mere suggestion and uh, a placeholder. Cool. as I feel. <laughs> My hair looks like I just like walked out of the towers like a <laughs> with all the debris falling. If you hadn't guessed it, we're, we're about to go to our third flight. Uh, we've been traveling for the better part of four months. It's been a full-blown Nina the Pint of the Santa Maria voyage. I have no clue what time of day it is in any part of the country. I've mismanaged flights. I've yelled at people that didn't deserve it. I've yelled at people that did deserve it. But yeah... That's, that's where I'm at. Hey. Enjoy your first sleep on 
on ground. A bird not indigenous to this world woke me up this morning. That's what I found out it was. It we're in like frozen Jurassic Park because they're like. Want to do dispensary quick? Sure. To smoke before breakfast. It's what are we animals? I looked at this place. I don't know if you did the same. <laughs> did you get shots? Yeah. Did you see that? <laughs> there was a legitimate lightning bolt that just came out of the button. That way it's wrong. That way it's right. <laughs> it's terrifying. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Where's G Street? Oh, yeah, G. All right. That's literally the bird. Probably their pigeon, too. It's like so common. They're like, what is this retard doing <laughs> following this <laughs> fucking Alaskan pigeon? <laughs> yeah, why would it tell us to go around? Google's a fucking idiot. They're just trying to run us into that, like, frozen Eskimo homeless guy that looked like Genghis Khan. <laughs> Me and this guy are twins. Like, is there any other place besides the North Pole that I could do comedy and it could have less of an effect on my career? If I said the N-word, I'd be, like, probably nominated for mayor. <laughs> <laughs> Highly recommend reindeer. Highly, highly recommend. <laughs> I just spent a small fortune in Moose Creek Trading Post, post slash Trader Trapper Jacks, who I look like. That lady almost looked like pissed that <laughs> we were buying stuff, which was funny. But uh, Nicole got a really cool denim shirt from the Jay Leno collection. It's embroidered with a sweet eagle swooping right across the chest, and it says Alaska. We're both gonna leave here looking like fucking insane people, but it's gonna be pretty cool. I don't know what movie I'm thinking, but it was like a nightmare walking that fucking 30 foot stretch. That person was just like, hey, you don't see me on my day, the boy, day, day. Sitting there, and then three other people were just looking at your camera like it, it equaled dinner plus meth. That's you. <laughs> Is it your first time here? Yeah. The first and most haunted part of the story for that hotel and bar especially is that in the building next to where the hotel is, apparently there was a Turkish bathhouse and there were some goings on there that were illegal. And the sheriff responded to that and was shot and killed in the alley right just to the side of where the bar is. Wow. So that bar has always been haunted by that sheriff. <laughs> always. Haunted by law enforcement. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> basically, you know, bottles fly off the shelves. No shit. I, I, I would close that bar and sit with the night on it, and, and and I would be the last one out, and you could hear the stools getting moved around on the floor in there. It was the weirdest thing. Wow. And I'm not very superstitious, yeah, but yeah. there were plenty of times I looked at the audit and went, uh, and I would get calls all the time from guests. And you know, there's 26 rooms there. Mm -hmm. I would have a pretty good catalog of who was in the house. Um, and I'd get calls all the time from people going, hey, could you ask the kids to stop running up and down the halls? And there were no kids in the hotel whatsoever. And every time I told somebody that, they would freak out. Oh, man. Um, and that used to happen all the time. I got the I got the Schultz. Turn your phone. Let me show you something. <laughs> oh, I can't mention Sarah Palin. Did I get fucking blocked? <laughs> this is crazy. This entire thing. Look, you can see the tire tracks on this very clear body of water. There's a dock down there. It's 45 degrees out, and people are in Hawaiian shirts and running footless through the footless shoeless <laughs> through the snow. <laughs> just footless, just pegging through the snow. Got paid. Get money. <laughs> you guys don't get in sync up here? Uh, is 
this going to be only for Patreon? This whole <laughs> vlog? This whole vlog? I think I talked about boring a child to death with a moose antlers. Like it's one, the first clip of the vlog. Yeah, yeah, one moment. That is uh, actually acceptable yeah. here in Alaska, for sure. Yeah. Nice. It's, it's almost like traditional. Yeah? Yeah. Does it happen? All the time. Wow. Yeah. I like Alaska. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> all your all your wilderness scares the shit out of me. I live in New York City. I was woken up this morning by a bird that certainly doesn't exist in my reality. <laughs> Outside my window. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Am I in frozen Jurassic Park? I saw a raven. I've only seen those in movies. <laughs> what, what kind of fucking nightmare bird? It's got matted hair. I've never seen... I've never seen a bird with dreadlocks in my entire life. And it has the most evil way of transporting itself. Because I saw it up on a light thing and I was like, that's, that's not a crow. <laughs> It's something else. And then it all of a sudden just went. And I was like, get the fuck out of here. I almost bought a gun. I literally. I mean, I heard you guys don't ask for registration, so I might just rent one for two days. I will catch Bigfoot while I'm here. I got three legitimate invites to people's houses. What better way to experience the Alaska wilderness than to watch these things drugged out in cages? Oh, it's a pterodactyl. Look at that. That looks like my wife's placenta. That's not real, dude. Did you hear that? We have to go towards that, right? <laughs> the edible has officially turned. I'm legitimately worried about these coyotes and their eye contact. 